All right, you guys, this is probably one of the most anticipated, requested videos I've ever been a part of. That was just Tebow jumping off the chair in there if you were wondering what that noise was. He's like, holy cow, you're filming? I better come interrupt you. Anyway, everyone's like, I think Maine Lobster are the best, or I think this is the best. I think that's the best. The truth is that I know of, there has never been this comparison done on YouTube. That is a slipper lobster. That is a main lobster. That is a spiny lobster. We caught these two on Saturday, and this one I just bought from Publix. He's alive, weighs two pounds. Real quick, mm. dead. Now he's done. Very quick and easy. E easy for me, not easy for him. So, Everyone knows that Maine Lobster are typically steamed, so we're gonna start with that. And I'm gonna make it really good steam, not just, you know, basic steam. Gonna take some Clos de Bois Chardonnay, nice full-bodied Chardonnay. Throw that right in there. Oh yeah, look at that, that's nice. Then, we shall take lemon. And not just lemon, we're gonna take in, cut some lemon zest out of there. And then we will cut it like this. Just throw them lemon peels right in there. No seeds, I try to keep the seeds out. Not that they hurt anything. Okay, good. Then we'll take some rosemary, throw that in there. Provides such a nice aromatic. And then, big old piece of garlic. Look how big that is. Garlic is, are you kidding me? Look at that. Nice, just throw that right in there. I'm gonna just add a little bit of water. Last but not least, sea salt. This is our steamer. This looks like a flower. You can buy these for like seven bucks at your grocery store. They work super well. Throw it in there. Now the lobster will sit on top. With Maine Lobster, you want to steam them for 13 minutes for the first pound and then three minutes for every pound additional. So this one's two pounds. We're going to steam them for 16 minutes. Whoa, that smells good. Let's just throw them right in there. Get them on top of our our steam. Oh, look at that. Before we get done, before you see the final product, leave in the comments below what you think is gonna be the best. Slipper, Florida, or Maine. I, I'm just gonna let, I don't even know. I, I mean, I don't even know. So, I'm gonna cook the tail here. Da -da -da -da. I will be cooking the head section of this lobster in a soup tomorrow, but for now I'm just gonna throw them back on ice. Get out all the, the vent. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our slipper lobster. A lot of people will just take the, the tail and twist it off. I believe you get more meat and you don't tear the meat by cutting into it like this. I just think it, look at that. Man, look how snow white that meat is. Just cut right there at the base of his tail. Much smaller uh, vent there, wow. Okay. Wow, this sucker looks hard. Better have a sharp knife. Dang, Dang gum. That thing is rock solid. Ooh, look at that. Pretty, pretty.
right, so let's look at the meat. Look at that. The slipper lobster actually appears to be a whiter color. Okay, so in the manner of fairness, I'm not doing anything super special to my tails. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw a stick of butter right in that grill pan, and then I'm gonna take some Everglades fish and chicken. Many of you might think this is an unfair advantage because anything you put this stuff on, it's gonna be pretty much delicioso. All right, that's all we're doing. That's everything. As this gets melted, oh my goodness. We'll just take skin side down, set them right in there. There we go. All right, moving right along, just take a pair of tongs and watch the love happen. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh man, have... look at that. All right, you guys, it is time to eat. I've been cooking these nice and slow. Let's get them out real quick, put them over here. There's our Florida lobster. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is just love potion number nine. In here, oh my goodness. Let's turn everything, oh look at that smell. Hey, I think this lobster cheated because being cooked in white wine with zest and all that, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to argue that. Look at, I mean, okay, comment time. If you were here, which one of these would you take your first bite of? Just look at this. Will you look at that? Look at that freshly drawn butter. Oh, man. Alrighty, so let's just grab this lobster here. Ooh, take that tail off and take the claws off. I do realize there is lots more on that. I know there's a lot more meat in there, but bear with me. The two things that most people eat are the tail and the claws. Ooh, doggy. That's tamale or the roe. Eggs. Pop this out. That should come out just like that. Pop this in half. Oof. Look at that meat right there. Lobster tail meat. Here's our Florida lobster, or our spiny lobster. Should come right out. Whoa, almost dropped it. Free jumper. All right, y'all, and this stage has been set. Anxiety is at an all-time high. Florida lobster, slipper lobster, main lobster. Time for the testers. Test, test tasters John and Sarah to step right up all right you guys Sarah is going to start off number with one. number one number two now write down your answers plain all right, Johnny, now you do the same thing. But let's see what you think. Everyone say hello to John McRoberts. What's going on? All right, here we go. All right, so now they've tasted it without butter. Now I want both of them to come back 
and taste it with a little butter on it just to see if the butter helps one or the other. Now with butter. Right in there, that's the tiebreaker. <laughs> what do you think, Emma? Yeah, you're upset you're not in this competition, huh? And the winner is... You ready? Okay, go. Number three and three. Okay, so three. mine, I got one and three. I got three both times. <laughs> the you first one... You all three times? times? Yeah, absolutely. I, really? thought, I thought it was going to be the slipper, but... It was the uh, Florida Lobster. Is, is the middle one the slipper? Uh, yeah, yeah. When I had it without the butter, it tastes more like king crab to me. It was very um, meaty and it tastes just like king crab. Then with the butter, I obviously threw it off. Then number three with the butter, it was just all around more sweet. So that's why I liked it. And so just to finish it off, I've got to try some of this. I, it does. It does taste a Just lot like, like king, crab. king crab. It's good. Slipper lobster, definitely good. Tastes kind of like a giant shrimp. Floor lobster. Florida lobster all day long. To me. Now let's go with a little butter. Ooh, look at that claw. butter that is off the chart. Slipper Lobster doesn't have as much flavor. Florida Lobster? Okay, here we go. To me, I like the Florida Lobster without any butter, just straight up, no butter. I like the Florida lobster the most, and then the main lobster, and then the slipper lobster. With butter, I like the main lobster, and then the Florida lobster, and then the slipper lobster. Don't get me wrong, the shovel nose or the slipper lobster is good, but it's not as good as the main or the Florida. I think the, the answers have been all over the board here. Just goes to show you, it's all good. But for those of you who are like, oh my gosh, Maine lobster is way better than Florida lobster, you're wrong. Because, uh, I mean, I think Florida lobster is, is just as good, if not better than Maine. But it probably has a lot to do with how fresh the lobster is, um, how well you cooked it, and whatnot. The key is get out there and try it. Maybe do this challenge yourself and see what you think. But for me, they're all good. I would have to go with the Florida Lobster though. That's it. That's all I got for you. Now, if any of you want to see more about deer meat for dinner, hit the subscribe button and then hit that little notification bell and you'll get a notification anytime we upload a new video. I'm actually going this afternoon to do a video in the Loxhatch River with my little brother and all week long we're going to be filming. Um, and go check out deermeatfordinner.com. We gone.